Bye, we'll miss you. We'll see you next week. <laughs> or today. <laughs> this time on Selling Tashi. <laughs> what are you working on? What are you working on? Hey, what are you working on? It's haul out time. We finally get to see what's causing the leak and hopefully fix it without hitting the bank account too hard. Plus, we plan to take advantage of the time to work on stuff we can't get to when Tashi's in the water. We say goodbye to our cozy little marina slip, take a short motor over to the yard where our project manager Elliot from Svensson Bay Marine is waiting for us. After a quick hello and small talk, we're ready to get our girl in the hoist and out of the water. Then it's a quick power wash and a short ride over to the parking spot where Tashi is now ready for inspection and analysis. Upon initial examination, we only noticed an odd piece of some kind of sealant that looked out of place. What little remained had fallen off as we were messing with it, but its absence seemed to have left a gap between the hull and the mounting plate, which could be where water would come in. We also noticed some flaws in the anti-foul paint that we decided we could take care of ourselves. Taking the shaft log out and doing a thorough inspection was the only way to uncover where the water was leaking in and determine what would need to be repaired. So Jorge, our specialist, got right to work disassembling the shaft pieces. What are you working on? Well, we got the boat hauled out. We had the uh, bottom job done last last year, but I see some um, blistering on the paint and some cracking and some chipped off. So I'm just going to touch it up while it's out of the yard. Sounds good. Why do you need that shop back? <laughs> um, because the, the paint itself, it has a uh, copper in it and it's uh, toxic to the environment. So you have to hook this up to your sander and uh, tape it to your sander so that it's, you know, sucks up all the co uh, copper. Cool. We want to be uh, environmentally friendly. <laughs> All right. So this is the pitting and the little bit of um, wear that we have seen. And then I don't know yet. I think you can kind of see that all this rippling here, these little pimples. We're going to sand that out because that means that's where it has not adhered. Is that a moisture reader? Pretty wet in there. Mm. Yeah. This one is going to be a problem. Yeah. So that one was easy to get out. This one is the one they're struggling with. Debating whether or not to pull the entire shaft, which would mean removing the rudder. So, the debate for today. The space around the shaft is tight. So Hal and Jorge studied the boat for a while and determined that they were gonna give it a go with some specialty tools that could reach around and under and wherever they had to go. And Hal offered up his assistance. I mean, when you want me to turn. Go, okay. Partly to save paying an extra person, and partly because he wants to have as much knowledge as he can about Tashi so that he could potentially do the work himself if ever needed. Okay, here we go. We found it at the right time. <laughs> yes, you it's, it's loose, I just can't get it out. You've got okay. a new employee. <laughs> um, yeah. This was proving to be quite a stubborn bolt. 
even with Jorge, Hal, and Elliot using multiple types of tools, it was still not going to come out. So finally, they resorted to this. There he is. Wahoo! <laughs> with the bolt cut, they could chip away at the adhesive and attempt to remove the shop log. Did you say hold it? Can I make it? I mean, this thing's it's gonna come on. It looked like the rudder was going to have to come off, but Elliot had a great idea. Hey, uh, Jorge, I think we might have to um, disconnect the coupler. Just, just, just the trans, just the face on the transmission, so we can get a bit of an angle. It worked. We finally got a look at the shaft, which was in great shape on the outside but the cutlass bearing inside was in pretty rough shape. A failed cutlass bearing can cause at a minimum reduced efficiency and at worst, loss of propeller shaft. More common is that the increased vibrations cause damage to the seals, which would explain the leak we found in our. With Tashi's repair plan in place and the hustle and bustle of the busy work day turning into a cool, clear evening, we can finally relax. Well, sort of. What are you working on? Uh, well, since we're hauled out and we're in um, salt water now permanently, I'm changing the anodes from aluminum to zinc. They're a little okay. more dense. And they will last longer. Yeah, one down. All right, you finish the rest. I'm going to go make dinner. Okay. And now it's time for the haul out version of Alicia's Galley Grub. So it's clean out the pantry night. We have a keel cooled refrigerator and while we're on the hard, we can't use our refrigerator or freezer. So while everything is defrosting, it's a great time to clean out the pantry and see what we got going. Check out my new apron. Thank you, Rodriguez Embroidery and more. So tonight I have some meatloaf seasoning, eggs, ground beef, and breadcrumbs. Sounds like burgers to me. This one is super easy. Just mix it all together and mush it around with your hands, turn it into patties, and fry them. So we don't have any buns on board, but I do have some leftover bread that I had made for soup the other night. So I'm gonna use that to make some open face burgers. We also had some leftover barbecue sauce, so I'm going to put that on top of the bread, then put the burger on top of the barbecue sauce, then top it with cheese, and um, Add some sides and we'll be good to go. The inside of the boat is a mess, but the temperature outside is lovely. So we are going to eat outside tonight. This beautiful morning is looking like it's going to be a beautiful day, and look who's already hard at work. Hey, what are you working on? <laughs> You're wet. Washing and waxing the holes. Oh, bless you for doing that, for letting me get some work done. Morning, we're up. <laughs> so it's the weekend, and we've been working but there's no crew here anymore. So I might take this opportunity to explore because this boat over here fascinates me. It is completely wooden and it is ginormous. It reminds me of Noah's Ark. I'm gonna go down and take a look. I always wonder what the history is behind these boats. These wooden boats have probably seen some stuff. I just think they're so cool. Hi, this boat is so cool. <laughs> you know what that is? No, huh? That's the old uh, Alcatraz, um, they take the prisoners to Alcatraz. Oh, really? Boat called the Warden Johnson. The yeah. Warden Johnson? Yep. Oh, very cool. Now I'm going to have to look up the history. That is super cool. Yeah. 
The motor vessel Warden Johnston was named after the longest serving warden at Alcatraz, James A. Johnston. He served as warden between 1934 to 1948. This vessel operated from 1945 to 1961 and carried inmates and officers to and from the prison, as well as their families and any necessary supplies. In 1963, when Alcatraz closed, it was used by the Sea Scouts for training purposes. In 2021, the Warden Johnson was declared a historical maritime asset. I am in awe of this vessel and its history, and I truly hope that someone is going to give her all the care that she deserves. I love these old boats. <laughs> it is a super foggy day, but we're hard at it already. First thing in the morning. Gotta wax those holes that he just buffed out. So here we go. With the holes shining like glass, we settle in for one last night. Tomorrow the work will be done and hopefully we'll splash. Good morning, Jorge. Hey, hey brother. I the last job we're doing at this boatyard is these stickers. Yay! Yay. Looks yeah. awesome. Perfect timing because Tashi has a brand new cutlass bearing installed and the shaft log is back in. It's all filled with uh, 4200 silicone, adhesive, uh, whatever it is. Sealant. Sealant, yeah. This should not leak. And in this way you can, you can remove the bearing anytime. So that's an interesting way to do it. Yeah, it'd be easier next time. Yeah. Hopefully we, hopefully we never. Well, she's all put back together and we are going to splash shortly. So Tashi is in the water and Hal is taking her by himself. It's just a little 30 minute trip around but uh, it, it feels really weird not having him, not being on board with him. Um, and if it feels weird for 30 minutes in a extremely easy conditions, I can't imagine what 11 hours would have felt like. So uh, Mike and Rhonda, we really owe you guys. So, uh, I'm headed off to the marina by myself. Hopefully it will all go well and I will meet him to grab lines at the dock on the marina. Everything was running really good so far, so we'll see. Well, I made it to the marina, so now we get to see if Hal will make it with Tashi. did a test and so far it looks like everything is okay. We're still keeping an eye out on the um, water because there was some water in there but we're thinking it might be leftover water but we definitely are going to run some tests while we're here over the next week. But the good news is a miracle happened and if this is all great and nothing is wrong. And this never happens in a boat. Never here. happens. We think we're going to frame it but we actually got a refund because we overpaid. That never happens. <laughs> when they estimate it, they estimate um, the maximum amount of labor it's going to take to remove everything. But we found ways to uh, get around taking the rudder off and um, me helping all the time so they didn't have to have two staff working on there. Yep. Um, so originally the original estimate, we had to pay half of it. Well, that half we paid was more than the whole job. Yeah. So, so oh, we're really excited about that. I wow. cannot even believe it. We really, really expected we were going to have to pay 
double uh, of the path that we had to put down. Cause and, you, yeah, because yeah. you never got up yeah. a boat yard uh, less than yeah. the estimate, but yeah. we got... We, fu- we fully expected... So we're going to yeah. celebrate tonight uh, in, I don't know, maybe take a nap because <laughs> we're yeah, exhausted. We're tired. We worked so hard getting everything done before the uh, before we got splashed. We had to, you know, do the, ch- the fixes on the bottom job. We did the waxing and of the hull, buffing and waxing. We put on the new stickers. We did so much stuff while we had the boat out of the water because yeah, we when don't you're out, know. When you're out, you're out of the water, you got to take advantage of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you got to work hard, fast, because yep. you you're on a timeline, so there's no yeah. rest. No rest, and we worked nonstop for so, the past couple of days, and now we're exhausted. We're going we're, we're to go to bed at 7 o'clock, probably. We are done. Now we can really plan our departure. Join us next time to hear all about it. Remember to like and subscribe. And also, hit that bell. And... Remember notifications. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.